Now we're going to go ahead and use Z-Sketch to create some of the tubing that's going to go between the body chassis, so to speak, and the, uh, the head. So I'm going to isolate the head, and let's turn on visibility on the body here. I'm going to append a Z-Sphere in. The Z-Sphere is going to come down there. <clears throat> Select it. We'll move it up and scale it down. Make sure visibility is still on on the head. There we go. Turn on transparency here. And turn on X symmetry. And I'm just going to make a Z sphere chain. Scale them all down just to give them something to hang on to. All right. Now I'm going to come down here to Z sketch and turn on edit sketch. Now it's going to allow me to actually draw some of these these tubes. So I'll start If you hold down shift, smooth, and then press alt, it'll straighten out that line. Then you can just use the move brush to add some curvature, and then smooth it back again. Remember that the Z sphere strokes, the Z sketch strokes are automatically polygrouped, so I can mask just that one and hide it. So or uh, isolate it so the influence of my move brush only affects it, doesn't affect any of the other uh, other strokes. And I can separate these out. Smooth them.
Then I'm going to use the bulge brush here to actually narrow, to thin out this particular tendril here. I'm going to go down to my unified skin settings and we'll raise this so we get uh, a more accurate representation of our tubing there. There we go. Let's go ahead and save our work at this point. We've put a lot of time in.